Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Yunko and Lordy and so we're back on Blood Hunt, the Vampire Battle Royale as well as the other classes that we need to cover being the Brute class. We'll highlight the archetype and what it does consist of in our gameplay and give some tips and tricks as we play it. Shall be very fun to highlight a breakdown of its abilities and pretty much the overall gameplay of the character. But before we do get to this video, there's only a small percentage of mates that watch the video that are actually subscribed. Leave a like, show support, or click the subscribe button to keep up to date. Press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the archetype being the Brute class does fall into the same category or clan as the Vandal class, which they both share the Soaring Leap, which you'll be able to see here is the Leap ability. Great for mobility, but quite easy to actually track. So enemies can try to shoot you, but you get around corners pretty quickly with this as well. So that's always a great benefit. Secondary ability is the passive skill being True Grits. The Brute replenishes up to half of their health while not taking damage. So this works really well with the pink buff. So there's a pink buff in the game that gives you the benefit of getting health per second and having your passive give you health per second as well. It's going to do some crazy magic towards end game circles and majority of fights as you kite enemies away. Really, really fun. And the unique skill for this character is Shockwave Punch. And this is great for engages or even disengages as it pretty much stops all bullets coming towards that location or towards your force field or your shield that you do have, but it also has a chance to knock back enemies. So many combinations with shotguns that actually go for melee strikes with this possibility is there indeed. And now all we need to do is actually jump into a match. So let's get into that. So we're jumping into the match, spawn close by to the shopping mall, a comfortable spawn for us. Make sure we spawn close by to something that you know of because then you can get the weapons quick and easy and get that early start. Press the wrong button and then that was something bad. <laughs> so now we're down to one ability. Unfortunate. Enemy down there, I can see him from a distance. I can try to armor up as well. And it's armor up as soon as possible. Enemy roaming on the left still. We got wall hacks on him. Due to the fact that the blood hand has activated. Enemy's trying to fight him. Did he actually disengage? He's running away. Which means I got a great weapon to actually engage with and try to cause a fight. Let's jump over here through our mobility tools. Let's chase him down before he gets a claim. If possible. I'm lagging like crazy. Get these shots there. Got it. Now we get this claim. Nice work, nice work. We got a HP back too. And also get the ability to increase our slots as well. We're getting two quick claims. Or long claims. Some guys towards here in the shopping strip. So we know that for sure. Let's armor up too, just before we get into the next fight. AI is moving from that way, going towards that um, compound. So that means they're all in here. They have to be in here. There's two guys already fighting. We got wall hacks on both. Wall hacks on both. They kill civilians. Super, super easy now. Watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna try a third party this. Got it. That's one. Wall. Nice. Nice work. Great ability. Gunshots towards down there. I can see it. I'm going to get this. I'm completely destroying them. We actually may get rid of our, one of our abilities. I'm going to pick up this too. Pick up the bat. Get rid of the Tommy full of shotgun. The shotgun is just a great item to utilize up close and personal. Always better on Vandal in my opinion. But it can not fit our gameplay style. Let's get this. Let's get some stuff from here just in case. There's some other stuff outside too that we can utilize. But I want to make sure we get all the meds we need just in case of the next fights that we actually go into and get encounters that might actually work into our favor. Here, another player over here. Is he up? Where is he? Where is he? I heard a player. I literally heard a player. Got him. Perfect. We just ran out of ammo too. We need to hit the police van that's outside and hopefully get the benefits of ammo. Oh my god, this guy had the best loot. Had the best loot and still died. I'll pick up the AR and utilize that to my advantage. So I believe the AR and this are both different ammo. Perfect. Armor up. I'm watching the map. Mel plays right next to me. Right up here, right up here. He's got a pump shotty. Get me out of here. Heal up. If possible. There we go. Nice. Blood bag two. Perfect mobility. Perfect. Armor up. The reason why I did that, I couldn't fully engage. There was another guy third partying us from a distance. 
Now I can get back up top and try and actually fire these guys. Which works my advantage. I guarantee it. Go on. Oh my god, no. Got him. Perfect. Absolute carnage with his character. Destroying them like it's nothing. Is there another? I heard some noise. So be very, very careful. Let's get all the ammo that we need. Let's get back up top. Good engagements, good engagements, good plays. That's six kills in our favor. Crazy early game fights. Honestly, super crazy. Let's pick up the armor too. And also the red gas. And we're pretty much set on loot. We're in a good position right now. But you can see how his unique ability can be utilized in the gameplay to actually open up in certain ways or disengage in certain ways, which is really, really good. Right now, we try to find some more enemies and get some buffs because we have so many claims. I think we need buffs. Buffs is all we need right now. That's a purple shoddy. Is that really a thing? Do I get rid of... No, I'm not getting rid of it. I have two legendaries. Even though there's a purple shoddy there, it looks quite interesting. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that go. I would never actually do that, but since we're using two legendaries, like, why not? Usually it's buffs towards this section too that we can actually utilize. But in this case, let's go for the health per second. Also reveal ourselves by actually uh, killing a civilian in front of another civilian, which I'm all cool with. It's not an issue at all. Because now you actually get into more fights, which I'm kind of happy about. Because I actually want to fight more people. That's two pink buffs. Nice. Good work. Another, we got stacked. Stacked health per second with our true grip passive. It's going to be amazing. Oh, this civilian got me too. It's all cool. I thought it was going to go off by there, but it's all right. No issue, no issue. There's usually a gold weapon here too. No one's got the gold weapon. There's a fight outside here. I'm going to actually get the gold weapon first, see what it possibly is. I don't know what else I can get that's legendary. Is there anything else you can get that's legendary? There isn't the AK or the submachine gun. Unless it's like a minigun. No. Unfortunate. I think we're pretty good with our items though. Let's get down here. Let's exit this club and get out of this place. We know there's a fight towards our 240. Right here somewhere south. So we'll find out. Let's keep going. I can hear someone. There. He must be healing up. He's playing around the corner. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. He has a sniper. So the guy pretty much tried to one-shot me. With headshot. He knows I'm here somewhere. But he's unsure where. Wow. Was that all headshots? That must have been all headshots. No. So close. The top seven curse. The top seven curse. Was that all headshots? I'm so surprised that happened. I think we have to jump into another game. So let's jump into match two. So we're jumping into our second match as the Brew class. Pretty much the same spawn and, and no one actually spawned here. I'm so shocked. I am so shocked. Compared to our first match, where we had pretty much everyone spawning in one location. Crazy start towards the match. My early game is always so strong. But versing like stuff like that cheese you like snipers and such. It's unbelievable. <laughs> when you get cheesed so hard and then... You try and disengage and re-engage, and then that happens. I was like, oh no, I can't believe it. It was just crazy headshots. But now, I want to have some fun. I'm not using the marksman rifle. Never. I want to utilize whatever this legendary item may be. Please something great. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take that. That is so good, actually. One of the cars actually activated close by towards us. Which means there are some fights towards Antique Store, I believe. We've got a Bloodhound on one of the enemies down there. Which I might actually contest as well. You got a lot of utility here. So that's really good. Resources. Let's get this as well. Mobility increase. Gunshot towards our right. There's another player chasing. Did he jump down and go for the shots? Got a shot. Got the shot. Perfect. Downed. Reload my AR just in case some guy rushes us. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Let's get the utility, get all the stuff we need. Let's move on. Nice and easy. I'm going to shot from above. I'm going to keep dodging. I'm lagging. I am lagging like no tomorrow. What was that? It's actually unbelievable. Let's armor up and watch the corner as we do this. Because he will push us.
Got him. I can't believe that happened. I cannot believe that happened. And then the blood stim also saved us. Having an active. Let's armor up. While watching our corners. We cheese that guy so hard. He must be tilted. He actually must be tilted. Nice work. Nice work. Let's keep going. All good. Let's go to the antique store. Hopefully there's some weapons we can actually pick up. No one's contested this? I'm so shocked. Give me purple. I need purple. Nah. One purple? Possible? Nah. That was just unlucky. Super unlucky. Let's go up here. Climb up. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I can just see through the map there. Did not expect that. I'm gonna rotate. We see two players. It would be a good fight for us to actually engage in. So I'm gonna try to. Was there two people teaming up? What just happened there? I'm so confused. I'm gonna heal up, just in case. Some guy came out of nowhere, another guy. There's like three guys now. Did he drop down? He dropped down. Oh, he hit me. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is he climbing up? I see him, I see him parallel towards me. Which is really good actually. Oh no man, this guy. Hopefully he dies towards the actual environment. Or we cut him off as he gets into circle. I'm gonna armor up just in case another player does appear. Because there was another player chasing us. I wanna try my best not to get caught by him. Hey, gunshots above us, which makes me believe the guy is still there. I thought something dropped. Oh my god. I'm gonna heal up before he comes to try and engage me. Perfect, perfect. Nice work, nice work. No more armor. We're quite vulnerable here. There's a side play towards our 240. I think above here, actually. Which I might actually have to contest. Just depends on what happens. Nice tracking. Beautiful shots. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna heal up and get armor. Cause that guy rotated. Perfect. There's pearl sniper here, which is actually not too bad. All I know, I need armor. So let's start rotating. This place towards us, towards our west. Which I will contest. Got him. Nice. Got him. Perfect. I'm getting revealed. Always because I killed a civilian in the way. Hopefully we're still safe here. Hopefully we're still safe. To get health back. Perfect. Reload. Armor whatsoever here. Oh my god. No. I cannot believe we got cheesed. Top 8. We got cheesed. There's a play that we left behind before. I cannot believe it. I tried to jump and I couldn't jump because of the lag. Oh no. But that was so much fun. That's highlighting the potential behind the character, the Brute class. It is such a unique class. And by having that ability to actually use the force field and make a push forward enemies and knock them back and also allow for potential outplays because of that, it is so much fun to utilize. Alongside the clan skill and also the passive. The passive is something that will happen naturally when you're pretty much in a fight and then you want to disengage and as you're running away to heal, you'll be healing at the same time through True Grit. And we had our pink buff maxed out so we're getting health through there as well. 
So it's always some great possibilities happening throughout your gameplay when playing as this character. But mate, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. What do you think about the Brute class? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's overpowered? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, mates, it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this. And I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.